Laguna, the Spanish word, the coolest Spanish word, for lake. And good morning. And welcome to another beautiful, beautiful day, day in Chile. Chile. <laughs> right now we are in a beautiful <laughs> reserve. It's called Altos de Licay. And we are going to hike up way up there. And we're going to a laguna and we're going to the Enladriado. And it's just a beautiful lookout. They don't know what to expect. I don't think, have you seen any pictures? We've seen, it. We've seen some of your footage. So we kind of, oh we yeah. Know. I did do a video here maybe <laughs> a year ago. And uh, well, I didn't have this camera and I didn't have a drone, so I'm excited to do it again. And it's so much fun going for a hike because you get to talk and hang out and learn about uh, past boyfriends and stuff like that. Uh, but everything is going well and I feel like we're going to die just in like an hour from now. So we'll be back when we're almost dead. So you get to this point of the hike and you just can't help but be thankful to be here. It's so beautiful. You've got this beautiful volcano right back there. Hiking with good friends, cuñados, and uh, it is just so beautiful. And the sun is out. It's snowing up in Wisconsin and North America right now. And I am just so grateful to be here. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at this. Trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own 29 years I've been the Oh, this same. is so beautiful. Oh. One thing gringos need more than anything else when they go hiking is sunscreen. Otherwise, you're toast. That is true. Voy a morir. The Spanish words for I'm gonna die. Whew. My goodness, guys, isn't this Laguna beautiful? I am a little too lazy. Well, I guess I wouldn't call hiking 16 miles lazy, but I'm a little too lazy to uh, go down there and see the Laguna firsthand. There are people swimming down there, but I do have the energy to take my drone out and show you the Laguna from the air. So check this out. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it amazing to see these places from the air and from a different perspective with a drone? I'm so blessed to have it. And man, again, look at that. It is so beautiful. But we were supposed to have the rental car back by, I think, 1224, which is right now. So we have to bust it back home and uh, hopefully they'll accept the car a little bit late today. We'll tell them we we're by the Laguna. So I feel like they'll accept it, right? All right, so I know I'm still catching my breath, but I feel like this is the perfect place to ask you guys a favor. So my introductions are always a Spanish word and it's the English translation. But what I'm wondering is, inspired by Scott and Sarah, is if any of you want to do an introduction. If you do, make sure that you put your cell phone sideways so it looks like this and videotape yourself doing a Spanish word with the English word right after it, or English word and the Spanish word right after it. Either way works just great. But I would love to see different places around Chile from you guys and just have a little introduction. It could just be en ladriado, shoot. I, I don't even know what that means. Like um, rocks coming together, rock formation, 
But anyways, a word that you know, and you know the translation, and that you can prove what it is by where you're at. Because I think those are the best. When you're at a place and you have the word and it just describes it perfectly, that's what I'm looking for. So if you have anything like that, if you want to take a little video, email it to me. The link is right below in the description. And uh, I think it would, uh, it would add to these vlogs. And I think that I would appreciate it and maybe you guys would appreciate it as well. But if you think of a word of the week, email it to me in a video. That's all. Off to hike. Shoot. I'm tired though. I've also seemed to have uh, lost Scott and Sarah because, well, I'm talking to you guys and uh, I think they got, they got ahead of me. I guess I gotta run, catch up. I don't see them anywhere. Yep, I was going, uh, I was going the wrong way. Administra, administration, administration, this way. Whoops. So one thing that we've all noted about the parks here in Chile compared to the parks in the United States is that here in Chile, you really don't have to worry too much about bears or any wild animals in general. Typically in the States, you have to have a bear bin or you have to hang up your, your food at night and all that kind of stuff. Here, typically, you're okay in Chile. And typically, you won't even see many animals. You see in the United States, Elise and I went on a hike once and we saw five buffalo. One was sniffing our tent outside as we were trying to sleep. Coyotes that were sniffing around the tent. A badger. And then as we were walking out, we saw a black bear and a brown bear all in 24 hours. It was pretty insane, really scary, and I feel like Elise didn't want to camp after that ever again. But we are almost out of the park. We just have to walk two kilometers from the entrance of the park to where you know, cars can't get up any further. So we're almost done, but uh, man, I am exhausted and feel really grateful for having the opportunity to come here. Really, really beautiful park, Altos del Licay. If you're ever in the Maule region, highly recommend it. Really, really beautiful place to camp and to just go hike around. Pretty awesome. But I could use some water and, and a beer. Okay, so I had every intention of the next scene being me opening the beer. But I uh, did a video for Zumba at Energy instead. So, besides that, returned to rental car, got some food, made some food, grilled some burgers, which was delicious. And now I'm finally going home to open a beer. I am exhausted though. We got up at 4.30 this morning and my goodness, I, whew, I am ready for, for some sleep and hopefully Moses sleeps tonight. Last night he was up, the dogs were up, it was crazy. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Hope you enjoyed the video for today. Remember that if you want to do an introduction, do an introduction, that'd be sweet. Check out my link right below for my email. Remember to say the Spanish word, English word, either order, doesn't matter. And also, if you could, leave your name and where you are in that video as well. Because I think that would be really cool if we had people from all over the world doing a word of the day. That'd be awesome. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Check out my links below for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well in the description. And I am going to, I'm already sleeping, I'm not even looking, not even, might run into that pole. but. I am exhausted, I'm going to sleep, and uh, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll enjoy a beer first. But, we'll see you guys next time, and for now, ciao Pascal.